hello friends hope you all are doing well today we are going to see root users iam users how we can access different services through iam users roles permission group etc so let's see how we can do that so as soon as you would create your uh, root account or that is a like whatever you id you sign up with that would be your root account and by that you would access to your aws console so in the beginning let's see how we can create a im user so basically im user is for all the administrative purposes so let's see how we can do that so we can see uh, we have a users menu go to users menu in identity identity and access management service then so once you click on add user provide the username so just providing admin admin user then you need to select access key and password of aws management console access so this is access key um, for all the cli and sdk so cli is like uh, you can use cli tool you can use sdk for that you would need to pass this secret access key then also you have a aws management console access and which is this one this is a console aws console so for that you need to log in with a password so here mm, we have a auto generated password or we have a custom password so we can make it as a auto generated password and re require password reset so very first time uh, you need to reset your password go to permissions so in uh, set permission uh, window just select the attach existing policies directly because this is the admin user now go to next and here you can add tags also so tags can be any uh, name or uh, value for now we are just leaving it blank then uh, here and then this is all the just for review so just review it and then we hit on create user so this particular user is being created now this particular access key id is generated so you need to save this secret key and access key uh, you can download the file and in that one you would get this secret key and a secret access key and password so uh, keep this one uh, because this is going to be very much useful and uh, never share your uh, secret access key with anyone um, keep that very much secret so now i logged in with iam user um, and change my password so same thing you can uh, do at your end one more thing which needs to be done is going to permission and then go to permission boundary inside the permission boundary set boundary and in set boundary select administrator access so this is going to give all the administrator access to our admin user which we have created there are so many other permissions are there but but currently we only need this administrator access for this particular user click on set boundary in this way your user admin is now having proper administrator access so these are the access it has on these many services so in this way we have added permissions to iam user or admin user which we have created 
another concept is a group so group is basically creation uh, group on the basis of logical separation so kind of a particular user would be part of particular user group or group so we can create groups inside AWS so if we go in the left side we have a user group here so we can create user groups currently there is no user group we can create any user group and similar way we have a roles so there are roles there so when there is involvement of more than one service is there then role would be needed so for example if we have a ec2 service and we have another service is say container service or we have a kubernetes service like eks and eks is trying to uh, connect with the ec2 uh, then in this scenario we should have roles created uh, on the eks and uh, in that way eks can be connected with the ec2 so there are two steps after roles one is assign role to aws service and another is attach policies to role so after creation of iam user i logged in with iam user or admin user and uh, this is the dashboard for the iam user i can see here there are uh, so many regions are there in these regions we have us east one to us west one then us west two these are known as different regions in different regions we have different uh, az's or known as availability zones so for example in us west one we have three az's um, us west one a us west one b us west 1c like that three az's we have so like that in all the regions we have different az's are there so in this way we saw how we can create iam user what is a root user and uh, what are group roles etc to be precise iam user is a kind of admin user uh, root user is kind of a super user we would never use root user much it is only for the account related information for example credit card or billing related information uh, iam user is for creation of different services uh, we can use so this is all for today we will uh, see in our next videos few more services and few more info on aws stuff thank you so much for watching this video have a good one bye bye